Yo, can you see the salt? Yeah. yeah. The white gold. Yeah. <laughs> white gold. <laughs> We're in Lejon Andrea. These are our bears, Ozzy and Deco. And this is our home, Hakuna. We've been living on our sailboat for 18 months. And this time, we've traveled to Bahama Southern Island, Great Inagua. The people here in Great Inagua are so freaking nice. Where we met some of Bahama's nicest people and learned about the local culture. And what's the secret to the tastiest kung fritters in the Bahamas? Hakuna Matata. It makes no worries. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we are in the beautiful island of Great Inagua and check out the beautiful water. The water here in the Bahamas never disappoints. It's always beautiful, blue, crystal clear water. And today we're actually going to explore the island and we are going on a tour. We're gonna go see the flamingos and the salt factory or mountains of salt. Awesome, let's do it. So we're gonna go to a bank, get some cash. We're gonna pay for the tour. And the tour is done by a local. So it's not like a company, it's by a local. So we're gonna walk to a bank, five blocks away. Our first time in town. We're gonna check it out. We were walking and he stopped on the way and he picked us up. So nice, people here are super nice. He offered to give us a ride without even knowing us. Super nice. I want to introduce you to George and George is the boat master of the marina. The, I'm sorry, the dock master of the marina here in <laughs> okay. Great Inagua. Hey George. Hey, cool. <laughs> yeah, just call me, I mean, you, I, you could call me a master, but you know, I'm not so masterful in those things. <laughs> <laughs> so you were telling us about that Great Inagua is not such a tourist uh, oriented island compared to maybe the Exumas no, or the other not islands? At all. We are more friendly than all those people around, right? <laughs> tourists, uh, and you I said the know. island relies on the salt industry? Yeah, on Martin Salt, the big uh, plant that we have here, uh, where we grow solar salt shipped to America. Oh! Uh, Martin Salt Operation, I think, Cape Canaveral, Florida is the port where all our salt goes right now. Oh. But most of it. show up on a car they're like Alejo Andrea and they were <laughs> they had seen our channel and I think we still don't get used to people knowing us it's <laughs> because we feel like only our mom watches our channel and no it's it's now getting to a big size you know we George is like how many people watch your channel and we're like I don't know we have 30,000 subscribers and he's like what how many people is that because there's only 1,000 people here in this island so it's a lot of people, it's like 30 islands. Also, we got invited today by our local people to get some conch fritters today. So we're gonna meet them today and we're gonna try it out. Let me tell you. Very exciting. The people here in Great Inagua are so freaking nice. Everyone is so, so nice. Our tour guide actually left us hanging for the day and we didn't get to do a tour today so I guess we'll do it tomorrow but what we will be doing is we will be going for some conch fritters with some locals and I'm sure that's gonna be lots of fun hey Mark hey how are you good so you're gonna be taking us today for some conch fritters some conch fritters and some fresh conch salad and some <laughs> fried fish nice. awesome nice we're very excited nice thank you so thank much you. Mark this yeah, is well. awesome this is a little marina. Inagua is just it's a small little community. We have like a little over a thousand people reside. 
So like everybody know, everybody know one another. No yeah. secret. No, uh, they say it's the best kept secret, but it's <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 So we're at the lighthouse, lighthouse point. So this is where they get the water for the toll, for the toll pan. The water goes from here through the canal. This right here is a pond and this is a gate so they open the gate and they'll pump it to the next pond which is this one right here They don't have any cases of COVID. They are 100% COVID free. And so are we because we haven't been with other people, but we've been isolated on our boat. So what do you cook here? I do corn fritters. Okay. So you make the corn fritters here? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I do everything here. And what's the secret to the tastiest corn fritters in the Bahamas? Just the corn. The corn? Just the corn. Really? Let, let it be comfy. That's all of it. It has to be comfy. And how do you do that? That's when you get the comfy grind it up, clean it and grind it with onions and sweet pepper, celery, some scotch bonnet peppers, uh -huh. and garlic salt with parsley and flour and that's it. Conk is highly popular in the entire Bahamas, but every October, Great Inagua celebrates the Conk Fest. The weekend includes conch cracking, skinning, and eating contests, plus live band entertainment and games for the whole family. I'm sure you cook it a lot better than we do though. <laughs> <laughs> you must be an expert now, right? There is a competition to see who makes the best conch salad and who does it tastier. I'm sure there are great contestants, but Ulrita probably beats them all. The conch we tried from her was just delicious. We opened this up in 2019 September okay, right yeah 2019 September we opened up and it was busy ever since really <laughs> yeah it was busy ever since so everyone loves your cooking loves your food um yeah the food is especially I have some love it spicy and then it was too spicy and then you had a lot of folks complaining so right I try to cut back on the spice uh -huh. a little bit. Oh, thank you. I'll take it out. Okay. <laughs> so Baham Bahamians like spicy here? Yes. You have oh. a few of them love it spicy. I have one customer's asked me to add more pepper to it. And I'm uh. sorry, it's got to be crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> it's already very spicy. It's already spicy. Nice. So she sent some monk fritters. Oh, oh, you guys nice. have this too? We have that too. I love it, right? Oh, 
chicken. Okay, so if you guys want to come and have the best conch fritters of the Bahamas from Arita, then you have to come to Law and Order. Bohemian food is really good. Bohemians are super nice. So if you guys come to the Bahamas, make sure to pass by Great Nagua. Great people. We never had an experience like this in the Bahamas. Hey, you drank a lot of beer, dude. You can tell by your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he had like seven colleagues, which is the typical beer here in the Bahamas. Okay. Are you gonna have your comforters? Yes. Say bye camera. Bye camera. All right guys, so Mark has been a great tour guide. He has taken us all around the beautiful island of Great Inagua. He took us this morning for breakfast and we had a great delicious stew fish. And now we are at the lighthouse. <laughs> That's a lot of stairs. Okay, all right, let's get started then. There's oh. more? Yeah. Oh my God. Woo. Wow. So, so beautiful. like ponds and ponds and ponds of salt we are at the checkpoint and this is where we have to make sure that they have our information so that we can actually go into the factory mark was telling us that the factory is actually owned by an american company and they do export this salt to all over the world so you were saying what else is it that mark does so he does like machinery well like mechanic for big machinery for caterpillar and so yeah, we're gonna see what he does for a living. Those are Mark's babies right there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh man. Well this is Mark's son. He's Mark Jr. What's up? Alright guys. How's everything? Everything good? Everything good? Okay, see the salt. Yeah. White gold. White gold. Great Inagua is perfect for salt production because of its dry climate. The salt ponds and factory account for 300,000 acres of Great Inagua producing about a million pounds of salt each year, making it the second largest saline operation in North America. salt and this takes the salt to the ships. So that's 
after they wash the salt, that's what's left and it's called Egyptian. So it looks like dirt. We just saw the first flamenco. Sun and wind provide the energy that evaporates the water, producing concentrated brine. Then the impurities are removed by the controlled movement of the brine. The process contributes to the growth of algae mat on the bottom of the reservoirs, preventing the seawater from drying up. The shrimp then eats the algae, which keeps the water clean, and then the flamingos and other birds eat the shrimp, creating a perfect cycle between man and nature working together. The theory is, the flamingos are pink because they eat the shrimp. Ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna start doing new things on our channel. So we're gonna be giving away this salt crystal, big crystal, to anyone that knows Ozzy's second name. So it's Ozzy blank. What is the second name? Comment it, comment down below. Let us know what's Ozzy's name. We'll pick a winner and we'll send you this nice salt crystal from Grady Nagua. Behold! In order to win this cool crystal salt, you have to like this video and be subscribed to our channel. We will use a third party to randomly pick the winner. Our patrons will have 5 additional entries to all our giveaways. So now take a guess and let us know in the comment section what is Ozzy's middle name. We hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.